Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today we're going to talk about this amazing bulk mock-up editor for Photoshop. I had posted in the Facebook groups the other day about this bulk mock-up editor that I have been utilizing for tumblers and t-shirts and it is really mind-blowing. So I'm going to go through and show you how that works today with tumblers and we're going to do about a gajillion mock-ups in like 30 seconds. What do you mean? It really is that freaking fast. First, I want to go through the website and all that jazz, pricing, etc. And then we'll jump right into an example. So let's get started. Okay, so to get to the bulk mockup, and I will drop my link down below, you would go to this link and you will see this website. You see that they can create 1000 mockups in about 10 minutes. We're not gonna do that many, but we're definitely gonna do quite a few. And it's only $8 a month. Now, if you're paying for a service like Placeit um, and things of that nature, this may be worth it if you have a lot of smart mockups laying around. I personally like to use the same mockup over and over for consistency and branding purposes. So this will work really, really well for people who are having a consistent brand and would like to use the same mockups again and again. So you can get it for $8 a month and it's basically going to go through and fill in all of your smart mocks. So you can see that they have some examples here of the mockups on the web page. They have a demo here and they're improving the platform every day. And basically, once you sign up and get this $8 a month program, then you will be able to go ahead and download this and get it onto your Photoshop. To get to the bulk mockup, you're going to want to click on plugins and it will show up down here and you can check this checkbox here and it will show up. Now this is a little bit hard to see and then move it towards the middle, but you can see that the, the menu interface is really simple. So you want to go ahead and first find your PSD templates folder. So this is actually going to be where your smart mockups are. So to select your folder for your mockups, you would just click on these three ellipses here. And I have a folder called PSD mockups. I have two mockups in there and I'm going to click on select folder just to show you all what these mockups look like. So you can see what we're going through. I have a t-shirt mockup and I have a Tumblr mockup that we're gonna utilize. Now you want to choose your design files folder. So again, with the three ellipses, and I'm just gonna go click on Tumblr designs and click on select folder. And then you want to choose your export folder. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this bulk mockup export folder. You do have different resize methods here. I use fit to canvas without cropping, and we'll see how that turns out. Sometimes you have to play around with these settings depending on how your files are laid out. And then in settings, you can change the settings for the design layer as far as scaling, how you want it to align to the canvas if applicable, and any guides if you're resizing and aligning to guides, okay? The PSD template, so you can actually export in JPEG, PNG, TIFF, PSD, and GIF, and you can create subfolders for each of the file formats if you would like to. And then if you need a certain size of the exported document, so all of my longest sides are 3000. So that's what we're going to utilize it as. And I'm just going to keep them at 72 DPI because I don't need them any better than that. And then the export, you can export to subfolders. You can also change your exported file name pattern. So here it would be artwork file name and then PSD mockup name. And that will work for me. That's just going to do the design and then the mock-up after that. Okay, so one thing I will note about this too before we start generating is you want to make sure that you have your smart file or your smart object on the very top layer. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be right here on this Tumblr template. And in this case, you can see the smart object is on top of this t-shirt mock-up here. Now, the t-shirt mock-ups are going to look a little weird because these are Tumblr files. However, it's the same kind of process. So I'm just going to click on start generating and that should go. Here we go. You can see that working in the background. And there's probably about 20 or so files in there. They're just random ones I haven't uploaded yet. It's 9.14 now. Um, we'll check on it in just a minute. All right, for the sake of my time, I stopped about halfway through the t-shirts, but I did want to show y'all what this all is going to look like um, after it's done. So I ran it for about 10 minutes and I'll show you how many files I had to go through and what was finished with that. File-wise, there was 106 items. If you go into the folder we created, there is the bulk export with everything that has been generated. When you open them up, you can see the level of detail. Now, again, with the shirts, these are Tumblr templates, so they're not made for a shirt. Um, therefore, they're gonna look a little wonky, but you can see how quickly all of these came through. 100 files in 10 minutes, I mean, for two different mock-ups. 
So you're talking 200 mock-ups in about 10 minutes. That's kind of unheard of. If I was to sit down and do, you know, 100 mock-ups, 100 Tumblr template mock-ups, it would probably take me the better of five or six hours. Whereas with this, I can just upload the files that I need to go and then run it through and I'm good to go. So this is fantastic for print on demand, direct transfer printing, um, any mockups that you're doing for your digital files. It's just super, super duper beneficial. I'm not gonna go too in depth of all the function and features and how this can work out for you, but for eight bucks a month, it's definitely a huge time saver if you have Photoshop. Definitely something I would want in my toolbox in my arsenal. So if you all have any questions on the bulk mockup creator at all, feel free to drop a comment in the comments box below or head on over to the Facebook group and we can chat about it there. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to reach out. Shooting Star SVG, signing out. Mm -hmm.